Twitch star signs a $100 million deal with a rival platform. Deal signed by Felix Lengel, known as XQC, uh, matches traditional athletes' contracts, and this is another sign of Twitch's tense relationship with its top streamers. He got a kick deal for $100 million. Damn. <laughs> That's a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> so does kick feel like they can profit beyond that figure by having them with advertising, et cetera? Wait, is this, is it non-exclusive? I think, um, TOS shit, a bunch of, there, there's like a, there's like a bunch of things to do. Um, and it's, it's pretty massive. Oh, that sounds hitting me up. Chat, the trailer. Oh. All right, chat. Guys, I'm gonna keep it a buck, okay, chat? Guys, I'm a, guys, listen, that, chat, the trailer was pretty much done in like half a day, pretty much. Um, I'm probably gonna do something, something fun, uh, something good for like uh, uh, sub transfers and whatnot. Um, I think, chat, overall, yeah, there's gonna be some crazy transfers, okay? Guys, I guess I don't, I don't wanna spoil it. I don't wanna spoil it. Um, I think the transfers are coming up are fucking insane. I really, really enjoy that um, it's non exclusive overall. So I can do whatever I want. I can go around and just kinda, kinda have fun and diversify and just kinda, just kinda try win hard, it. Try hard, seven try hard. I think, I, think it's a, I think it's a massive deal, because at the same time. Go to Exodus um, chat on kick. Kick.com slash XCC. Other things I want to do also. And that's just kind of that's kind of how it goes. Um, yeah, I've been working with um, Eddie and the people at the people at uh, a kick. Emoji angry. Over, um, a bunch of things. Chat, it's gonna hard to unwrap it like all at once. Oh, that's okay. Good. But there's a bunch of cool shit. <laughs> I love um, money. Such as, such as in the past, it's been difficult to allocate time to do things that everyone want to do. Like I've tried to show before. I talk about like podcasts and stuff like that. There's a bunch of things that I really, really, really want to do, and I can't justify like putting a lot of time because the way the, the way that it is is that overall. Look, I'm gonna keep it real. If they're giving you a hundred million dollars and it is non-exclusive, there is no way in hell anybody should explain it. Expect an explanation, dude. Like, hey, you'd have to be a complete moron. Okay, now there might be some other stuff as a part of that. But there's like literally a 0% chance that anybody who is like, hey, here's $100 million and you're not exclusive, you can do whatever you want. Who's going to say no to that? $100 million, but you need to gamble $50 million of it. Um, and that gives me like uh, endless opportunities to... Um, Good to know you're alive. To do literally anything that I want and just... New York Times says $70 million contract with incentives that could push the total... Oh, oh, oh. It's only 70 million? What the hell? What a sellout. I think there are things that I really, really <laughs> no, want to do kidding. that I can do now because of uh, funding <laughs> and because of time. I can justify it. And it's it, and also, I get people have concerns. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna chat. It's, I'm, 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 I'm gonna chat like, uh, like always. People say, gamble this, gamble that. I don't give a fuck. Um, <laughs> if this was about like gamble shit, <laughs> Um, <laughs> it would have been a, it would have it would have a different story. I'm I'm sitting I'm chilling and this is nothing different. We went we went then gambling a while. If I want to do it, uh, I can. If I want to do that, I, I'll, there's gonna be opportunities too. But it's it's just not like that. It was never part of a conversation from beginning to end. It just wasn't. Dude, Only, I want to freaking down the line. There's things I want to do for sure. Um, <laughs> okay. But like project and things I want to do. But oh, well, it's just kind of how it is. For most viewers, you're it it'll it'll feel like nothing to be honest because. It's gonna be split time, and people don't have like fucking 20 hours to watch every day. Overall, believe it or not, I, I thought, dude, at my age, dude, I did this for so long, I genuinely thought I was gonna slow down, okay? But, um. I know you are going to donor wall this. I'm biting <laughs> on like way more than I can chew, pretty much. I'm going like pretty much like all in. I'm like doubling down, pretty much. That is gonna be pretty much like, like 11 hours, something like that, like, like normal. And I could just gonna sit down in the cavern and just do it all day, you know? And it's gonna be, um, it's just gonna be split time. He said it is age. It's not in He's hide. like early like, 30s. Excuse me, he's young. Excuse me, he's like 26 um, or something, 25. So there are days it'll be like only Twitch. There are days gonna be only, um, only kick. And there are days gonna be like 27, be 27. 27. It's gonna be like 4 6. It's gonna be like 3 8. I've heard rumors for a couple weeks now that there's like some big signings on the way for kick. Here's the truth. Like, I would not change platforms without a platform deal. 
And also, some people are saying this is a big blow for Twitch. It's... Mm, it is... But it's it's not. It's a non-exclusive deal, right? It's a PR blow. Because the, there's this narrative, especially on Twitter, that, like, tw Twitch breathes and it's bad. And, I mean, who... I feel like I'm... This is, like, a problem. When you're, like, in the middle on most things and you look at things on a case-by-case -case basis, instead of, like, appealing to people who believe both sides... Like, some people think this side, some people think that side, what actually happens is just both people hate you, Right? So like when, when you when you look at things in that, that lens, it ends up not being too good. Bringing like one or two people, I don't think it's a big blow to the platform, especially on a non-exclusive level. I don't think it's an actual big blow to the platform at all. I would even go as far as saying I think it's good for the platform. What I think will happen is as these other platforms do start to grow a, a little bit and they start they start gaining market share, Twitch has to change something. It has to fix something because because they're having competition. If you look back at like, you know, even like Mixer and when YouTube was in the rat race and all this other stuff, which was like really trying hard like to push, they're trying to do stuff. He says the playing field a bit, creativity from the management. Yeah, Ninja and Shroud, like Ninja was the biggest content creator in the world, right? He went to Mixer, didn't really do anything. Shroud went to Mixer, didn't really do anything. And these are two of like the biggest names in like content creation in general. I kind of, actually I'm, I'm kind of lying there. To say that it didn't do anything is not true. Cause it did do something. I think if they didn't sign, they wouldn't even had a chance at all. They, they had to bring people in. I think the problems that Mixer, like th those were, there were issues with the platform of, of what Mixer was in and of itself that kept it from growing. And it was also wrong place, wrong time. Right now, Twitch has a lot of like negative PR and because Twitch has negative PR, it gives other platforms opportunities to come in and, and, and establish takeaway market share. LeBron James, two year, $97.1 million contract with some top paid player in NBA history. Twitch signs a two year, $100 million deal with Rabbit Platform. That's actually insane. That is actually insane. Yes, from Gamba. Yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's the thing, that's where it comes from. Basically, the way that I wanted to do it is um, all in on the project and on um, kick only and just do kick as the massive core and just do it all the way out. Wait, are people angry about this? I think it's kind of absurd to expect somebody to not accept $100 million for a two-year deal. I'll be honest. Even a fraction of that, most people wouldn't say no. You could fly out an entire chat to an arena. Literally, you could. Yeah, that is, that is generational wealth. Like that is, that is, uh, that's like rich, 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 rich. That's like super rich. The biggest losers are streamers who recently signed contracts because it resets the market. True, actually, Aggie. It does reset the market. He doesn't need the money. Well, it's not about the money for him. It's about IRL ELO. Like he's just climbing the ELO chart, you know? And it's just that your, your bank account is the ELO. <laughs> it's generational wealth. It's, it's so much money that you can now do things that were not even imaginable before. So it's not about like, oh, I need the money, right, for him. It's, oh, I want to do like a massive event, a big, huge thing. I want to start this huge business and I want to hire a bunch of people. Because a lot of times, stuff like that, it comes down to how you feel. It comes down to like what you want to do in your life, right? It's, it's about fulfillment. Maybe you're not fulfilled anymore just streaming. Maybe you're not fulfilled anymore doing whatever you're doing, and then you, you, you take money and you want to invest it into something else to, to start something new.